Radiocarbon dating works because uh, I'll, in the upper atmosphere, um, a very strange event takes place. Uh, cosmic rays from the outer space come in and interact with the Earth's atmosphere and create a special form of carbon called radiocarbon. It's, an iso it's a radioactive isotope of carbon which um, eventually decays. We know what its half-life is. We know that it's that it has a regular decay rate. Half of it disappears every 5,568 uh, years. This stuff is created in the upper atmosphere and is quickly converted into uh, ordinary carbon dioxide, except that the carbon dioxide uh, has this radiocarbon in it instead of ordinary carbon. And that carbon dioxide is used by plants uh, and um, in their normal process of photosynthesis, uh, photosynthesis and therefore gets incorporated into the tissue of all of the plants on Earth and it then gets uh, further incorporated into the tissue of all of the animals that eat the plants and so on. So radiocarbon dating is based on the fact that when these plants and animals stop taking up radiocarbon from the atmosphere, either directly in the case of plants or indirectly in the case of the animals, then the concentration of radiocarbon in those tissues begins to de decrease. If we find some old tissue lying around in an archaeological site, an old piece of charcoal or an old animal bone or something of that nature, if we find that old tissue, then we can measure the radiocarbon concentration in that tissue, and from that we can determine the time elapsed since that particular plant or animal stopped incorporating carbon from its environment. That's what a radiocarbon age is. It doesn't give an age of an artifact, for example, directly, but it can tell us when uh, a plant died or an animal died. In that sense, uh, a charcoal date on a on the the charcoal found in a fireplace, for example, does not give an age for when that uh, that fire was lit. It tells you when the the uh, the tree on which the plant was or on which the charcoal was made uh, uh, died. And one has to keep these things in in perspective in analyzing radiocarbon information.